back, everyone. Huh? Well, it weren't too bad. Sorry, guys. Welcome back to another video. Um, oh, I'm with Stephen today in his yellow rods. Simon's joined us as well with his yellow hoodie. Um, we haven't seen Simon for a while, actually. I don't think he's actually been fishing with Simon all year, to be honest. Apart from back in January. But he's been busy with work and, obviously, bits and bobs and, and all that old malarkey. Anyway, <clears throat> today we're down the River Medway. Um, we've come for a social, really, just to have a bit of a laugh, chat with mates. So I've got John coming down in a minute. Um... And yeah, the, the plan was we were meant to be fishing over there. Can you see where it says Medway Council on that building? Now, if you look down, you can see that little cave, that little thing that's like a black doorway. And then you've got the corner of the wall where it where it goes sort of where it goes down, where it goes down like that. That was where I grew up fishing. Literally fish there as a kid all the time, every weekend. Um, because obviously oh, I couldn't drive. My dad wasn't as much into it back then. We did go down the beach every now and again, and if, and if I could get down there with my uncle, I would, I'd get down the beach. But that was basically it. I could get the bus there with my gear, or ride my bike, whatever. And that's really where I wanted to fish today, because I wanted to do sort of like, uh, like a back to the start video, if you like. Um, try and get some of, that, some of that enjoyment back in the sea fishing. But the weather didn't let us. It is blowing an absolute hoolie from behind, so it would have been in our faces over then, it just wouldn't have been very comfortable. So we come to what we call the secret spot. It's not a secret anymore because everyone knows about it. Um, just to see what we can get. We're after a codlin. Because um, there's been a couple of codlin. But it's probably going to be just white. I've got a bite on my little Coniflex rod already. I say already. It's been out there ten minutes. I should have had four fish by now, Steve. Oh, no. yeah. Go on, then. Stop messing about with it. All I've got, bait-wise... Uh, again, just gone back to basics, how I used to fish, and exactly how I used to fish. Two score luck, the only difference is the price, they've massively gone up, but I understand why. And I've got a packet of squid somewhere, yeah, in my bag. And I've got, yeah, and I've got a little packet of squid. And all we used to do was put one lugworm on each hook, size one hook, on a two hook flapper, and then just a very small square, like the size of your thumb now, of squid, straight over the hook. And, and we used to say, well, to hold the lug on. I haven't actually done that yet, I've just put lugworm on. Steve. Come here, mate, can you? What, hold your phone while you're reeling the white in? Yeah. When you say white in, easy. Oh. Let's just check the bait anyway. Bending that rod. Or is that the eight ounce ledge you got on the end of it? No, I've only got four. <laughs> oh, it's windy. Sorry, everybody. Oh, did I just see a spinner? Yeah, you did. Can we see it on here? I've got a dump shot because I'm, I'm a pro. We can now, look. Look at that. Going back to your roots. Oh, God. Yes! Bass. Bass out of white. Well done. Right, come on, go out So, that is how we do it. Now, years ago, this wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't have seen the little bass. Listen, I'm not saying we didn't catch bass in the river years ago when I was a kid, but it was it was it was a hell of a lot of pouting, um, and pouting would be there all year round, winter, summer. It, it, they'd be there all year round. But I'm going to try and get this back. The bass made it. The whiting's not going to. No. Um, but I'm like yeah. Saturday day on a Sunday afternoon, what else am I going to do? Sit indoors? Yeah. Um, Waking up PVA bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing, guys. The um, the carp video I put up last week, as I suspected, hasn't done any good. Oh, what's that now? Shrimp. Oh no. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Shrimp or little fish. Hasn't done any good, really, views-wise. And I know you don't like them. But they are going to continue because I'm also trying to try to. I'm not trying to lose the audience I've got, but it would be nice to try and attract another audience as well. Um, guys that like the carping, the freshwater fishing, and people that like. Obviously, I know everybody likes the sea fishing. I understand that. Um, but yeah, well, I'll bring you back when we get some more fish. Smashing them, absolutely smashing them.
Reese is free up. Oh, it's massive. You're free up at the minute, ain't you? Yeah, mate. Well done. Because I'm fishing, instead of, instead of trying to be all technical and have big rigs and big hooks and all that sort of stuff, I've just gone back to how we used to fish and catch loads and loads of fish and, and have a great time. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I hate biting, but. Go on, Matt, with your fag in your mouth. Oh, no, I just thought that. I just exactly thought that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, I'm here catching fish. It's like carp fishing, it's easy. Shooting it's, fish in a barrel, isn't it? Shooting fish in a barrel, it's a piece of kiss. Exactly that. We bring it back. Well, everyone, it's absolutely constant. John's got a free hook wig on and, and got three fish. What's that, a pout on the bottom, isn't it? Uh, well, maybe on the bottom, it might be halfway up, who knows. Oh, that's, that's I've, I've, that's, I've got fish on already, so I think I'm beating. Is it? So we were talking about going back to the beginning today, where it all started. So I'm beating Ive already. Yeah, <laughs> and and John has gone back to the beginning. Wow, look at this. He's got some old gear out of the uh, out of the closet today. No. Look at that old reel. Look. If anyone knows the age of that, let me know. John, do you know the age of it? No, I don't. So it'd be nice if anyone knows anything about this old reel. It's a Shakespeare convertible. Um, 236 RL, whatever that means. And what's the rod, John? Do you know? I don't know. It, at right, at rod, I know it dates back to the late 70s, but it hasn't got a name on it, so. No. I, I always but wondered if. real seats, you don't see them anymore. No, I always wondered if it was maybe an old Coniflex blank. You don't see it. But um, or something like that. If anyone knows the rod or the reel, let us know, because John would like to know as well. Um, but to be fair, on a day like a day, you don't need anything else because it's. Like he said, there's fish, there's fish biting on that. We're we're all getting double shots, and um, John's having dub, John's having treble shots. So I's had a few fish. So I's had, how many fish you had? Five fish, five fish on two worms that he nicked off me, because he only bought frozen with him. Um, yeah, I'm in the back of the van sorting that scrap while I'm here. But yeah, it's um, oh both of my rods are in. I'm gonna, I was bait, I was in the middle of baiting them up. And, uh, and John come up with a triple shot, so I said I'd come and record. So this is how many... Oh, Steve! What? You're pulling too hard. That's right. Oh. It was going over, you're pulling too hard. Right. Um, so this is how greedy the fish are. This is John's rig, <clears throat> with a nook into this pouting. And this is Steve's rig, with a nook into this pouting. It's taken... I've had fish take both hooks on one rig before, but not off two people. That's greediness, that is. Oh. It's not coming out. You need a bit more. That's what you need. There we go. Absolutely madness. Good job. So, you, are you counting that's John's fish then? <laughs> John's fish was more, John's hook was more in its mouth than Steve's, so we're going to give that to John. <laughs> oh yeah, I would, because Steve's casting's terrible. <laughs> and there we have it, people. Triple shot on the old, uh, on the antique vintage, if you like. Antique vintage rod and reel. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? You don't need to be buying all these big expensive rods. Something like that. In the nicest possible way, I've probably thrown stuff away in better condition or better. <laughs> it's not like taking the piss, but it's just, it's just we all have. I mean, we all, we all upgrade and buy new gear and stuff. Well, the, the real was something that got thrown away, but it got thrown away in my direction. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. See? There you go. Um, and, it, and it does the job quite nicely. All right, yeah, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't be taking it to Scotland and fishing for, for common skate with it, no. But when you're just down a local river and fishing, I mean, that would handle most things that come out of this river, 100%. Anything. Well, it'd handle everything that comes out of this river, wouldn't it? Apart from a shopping trolley. I don't think it'd, don't think it'd handle a shopping trolley. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Well done, John. Yeah, He's having it off here, triple shots. Um... We're all still flat out catching fish. I've rigged one of my rods in for a minute because it's manic. I'm trying to say, I've done a score bait already. Um, yeah, just slowly, slowly sorting through my van, getting bits and bobs done. But it's, uh, it's nice to be down the river for a couple of hours. It's certainly better than sitting indoors. He's at it again. Triple shot of white and top rod today, John. You can't have any bait left, John. We only had two score each. Oh, I've still got some over there, mate. You're more than welcome to come and take them. Yeah, a couple of, couple of sizable ones there, definitely. It's a bit skinnier than normal. Normally they're, normally they're a bit better up the river, but I'm sure they'll fatten up. Happy days. And it was on the old school rod and reel again. So again, people, if anyone knows what rod or reel that is, please let us know. 
because we are we'd like to know definitely white right, people that's us simon's gone home um and me and steve uh, and john actually we're all on the last cast um so yeah it's been a, i've got another bite there's still there's still plenty of fish we can stay here all night and still i think catch fish all night all, all the way through the tide up and down but uh it's sunday and it's dinner time <coughs> thank you everyone for watching oh look at that go again shows you with a, with a rod and a reel john's using it doesn't it really don't matter it doesn't matter what you're using you can still catch fish when they're there Let's see if we can see that rod guy again it's only a light rod so it does give a really really good bite actually right well thank you to steve and massive thank you to john for coming down and joining us today oh is there a fish steve should we see a fish before we go this is where now nah, it's not one is it he's gonna he's lying he's lying is it another white in? Oh, it's got a beard. Yeah, you wished. <laughs> We've had a few nice ones. Oh, yeah, that was one that. of the nicer ones and all. Um, fine, John's man. had a few fish to take over the table because he eats them. Why not? Um, so, yeah, happy days. Right, thanks everyone for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like if you did like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please, please do. There will be more videos. There's going to be a mixture of both sea and fresh water. Um, carp in as well. I'm going to try and do a bit of piking probably next week. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. Yeah. See you on the next one, people. In a bit.